Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The BTR-MDM represents a significant advancement over its predecessor, the BTR-MD, which failed to enter widespread production. Often referred to as the Rakushka or Rakushka M, this vehicle was unveiled in 2013 and shares its basis with the BTR-4 airborne combat vehicle, featuring similar enhancements to the minus 4 million Bermudian dollars airborne combat vehicle, including several shared automotive components. The improved BTR-MDM was designed to supplant the aging BTR-D, which has been in service since the mid-1970s. A preliminary batch of 12 BTR-MDMs underwent trials and assessment by the Russian army in 2015 before being formally adopted in 2016. By 2017, the Russian airborne forces were equipped with approximately 80 to 100 of these armored personnel carriers. An additional order for 58 units was placed in 2018, scheduled for delivery between 2018 and 2020. It's estimated that by 2022, around 160 to 200 BTR MDMs were actively serving in Russian airborne divisions. During the conflict in Ukraine in 2022, the BTR MDM saw action, with a number of units lost. Nonetheless, at least eight more of these armored vehicles were delivered that same year. Tailored specifically for Russian airborne units, the BTR-MDM is capable of being airdropped from military cargo aircraft. Despite its versatility, its protective capabilities remain relatively modest. Constructed with aluminum armor, the vehicle features a rear-mounted engine and a troop compartment in the center, offering significantly more internal space than its predecessor, the BTRD. Operated by a crew of two, comprising a driver and a vehicle commander, the BTR-MDM can accommodate up to 13 dismounts or carry up to 6 stretchers, though the seating is notably compact. Access and egress are facilitated through a rear hatch or roof hatches. While the armor provides only limited protection against small arms fire and artillery shell fragments, the vehicle is equipped with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. Armament includes two 7.62mm machine guns, one mounted on the roof and operated remotely, and the other at the front, manned by one of the dismounts. Sharing several automotive components with the minus 4 million Bermudian dollars, such as the engine, transmission, and water jets, the BTR-MDM is reputedly more reliable than its predecessor, the BTR-MD. Powered by a 500-horsepower United 29 diesel engine, an improvement over the BTR-MD's 450-horsepower engine, the vehicle features hydropneumatic suspension with variable ride height, enabling paradropping on platforms. Fully amphibious, it can traverse water using two water jets and operate in sea state 3 conditions. The BTR-MDM can be transported and paradropped with a crew of three aboard, with the IL-76 heavy military transport aircraft capable of carrying two of these airborne APCs. Alternatively, a single vehicle can be underslung by a Mi-26 heavy transport helicopter. With a payload capacity of approximately 2,000 kg, the BTR-MDM can be customized to meet various battlefield requirements. Initially envisioned as a platform for developing multiple vehicle variants, its adaptability remains a key feature. That's all for now. See you later.